I'm Lauren, I'm the project manager for Skills at Energy Transition Zone Limited. I look after and manage the National Energy Skills Accelerator, or NESA for short. NESA is a collaboration between ETZ, uh, Skills Development Scotland, Robert Gordon's University, the University of Aberdeen and the North East of Scotland College. And we are working with industry to understand and prepare for the energy transition. We sit down with companies, assess the roles they're going to need for the future and also the numbers and then we map them to uh, current course provisions and help us to identify skills gaps we can then work together to fill those skills gaps. I studied physics and astronomy at Glasgow University. I didn't for a second think this is where I would end up. I then went to Leeds. I studied uh, geophysics with hydrogeology and then I worked for a seismic data processing company for nearly nine years. Team leadership has been quite an important skill for me. I started out on that route quite early on when I was still in my data processing job. I developed that further when I became services manager. And now rather than um, managing people, I'm sort of managing organisations, but it's very much the same principles of the organisation and the coordination and logistics that are behind it. So it's a very useful skill that I found in my career. Some of the skills that are really transferable between existing workforces could be the offshore wind farms, for example. There's a lot of maritime jobs around that. They also apply in the oil and gas industry. It's very, very transferable skills. Um, project management skills are, are very easily transferable. Um, and, and more vocational jobs like welding, manufacturing, fabrication, they all apply to, to the new industries as well. There's going to hopefully be plenty of opportunity and really interesting career paths that people can take and it's a sustainable industry that's that's something I think would be really important for people who have been through the ups and downs of the oil and gas industry to see these these greener jobs that, that hopefully don't have the same peaks and troughs as we've experienced in oil exploration.